What's up guys, today I'm going to show you another trick to use on the Black Market in Black Ops 4 on PC. If you are here, you obviously know that this game crashes all the time with the Black Market and it is super duper frustrating. I'm going to put a timestamp on the video so you can get to the steps, but I wanted to address the method from the first video I made a few weeks ago. This first method is to use the Black Market as quickly as possible and to purchase an item like in seconds before the game crashes. This new method essentially just delays that process, but it works kind of in the same way but you will still have to deal with all of the headaches that the first method offers just more slowly anyways let's get into it so the first thing you're going to want to do is download a net limiter which you can get from netlimiter.com there is a free 30-day trial or you can purchase it for like 20 or 30 bucks once you have the application downloaded, open the NetLimiter app and Black Ops 4 at the same time, but don't do anything with the NetLimiter just yet. Once BO4 is up and running, you will see BO4 appear on the NetLimiter window, and you're going to want to click the download limit button, which is the second button inward and it is like a square shape with a down arrow you're going to want to set the download limit speed to anywhere between one bit per second to a thousand bits per second that's the big b it's like the first option on the drop down menu when you're choosing your measurement so how this whole process works is it is essentially limiting the amount of bandwidth that the application is receiving so while one bit per second may work for you it may not work for somebody else so feel free to play with it the numbers that i have kind of given you are strictly arbitrary, but they are foundationally sound for the principle at work here. Once you set up your parameters, click the little check mark next to the number box and your net limiter will be active. And now you can peruse the store at your leisure. The problem with this whole process is purchasing because now that you have set your internet speed to be much slower, your purchases are going to be coming in a lot more slowly and you'll see all of this on screen. So be careful because disconnection errors will pop up. It doesn't always kick you out of the game or crash but sometimes it will depending on how fast your speed is so the faster your speed is the more likely the game will crash the slower it is the more likely you will get disconnection errors and then you just have to restart the game the good part about this is whatever you buy it will generally always save because activision has a ton of safety nets so either you will spend your currency and get the item even though it won't look like it but it will be there or it just won't take your currency at all the other way to help this product process to make it a little smoother is to play with your regional settings on your battle.net window which allows you to switch from Asia to Europe to the Americas. Now I am in North America and Asia seems to work the best for me. Apparently the further you set your region from where you are the better this will work but I have had varied results with all these. Just experiment and be wary of your COD points and crates. I'm going to have the best settings that work for me on the screen. It has been 400 bits per second and in Asia for my region. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it helps. I just want to say that the main difference between the two methods that we have right now, which is basically speed running the shop or using this method that we just talked about, is the slower method requires another application. It's a little bit more of a process, whereas the first one is just buying shit and crashing and buying and crashing and buying and crashing. So it's really all your preference. Whatever works for you, it's, uh, you know, just do what you got to do. But I hope this video helped and I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace out, everybody buddy.